What's going on, everybody? 80 Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment, returning back to NASCAR Heat 3 once again here to continue our 2019 championship mode. And we are jumping into race five here today, the Auto Club 400 at Auto Club Speedway in Fontana, California. And uh, it took place just over the previous weekend. It was a pretty decent race, so we'll talk about it, talk a little about some stuff that's happened, and have a good time here. So let's jump into it. So if this is uh, slower or faster, it doesn't matter. I'll take whatever time I get right here. It was a little bit quicker, but not my fastest lap we've done yet. And it puts me in a better spot than I've had yet. Uh, the highest I've finished in the session was uh, was eighth so far. So I get seventh instead. All right. Well, hey, I'll take that. Qualified seventh. Qualify on the inside, which is where I want to be. All right. Lining up here for Auto Club 400 at Auto Club Speedway. Matt Benedetto, well prepared for the race. Hopefully so. Ryan Priest failed optical scanning station multiple times. And then there's us in our beautiful car. Do you think it's time to switch up the car? Do you think it's time to switch our paint scheme up? Let me know down below. Maybe we'll switch it up for next week. We're getting ready to go green here, and we are underway. Starting behind Joey Logano. I can't even see who's on the pole up there. Looks like Martin Truex Jr. on the pole dominated this race last year. Uh, didn't have much say in it this year, though. It got a little bit of damage, it looked like, during the race. Yesterday, it's worth three wide on the inside, taking them big boy style. Holding it down low there, because Almirola don't want to give me an inch. Holding it right on the bottom. There's Kyle Busch back there, who, uh, I think he won both stages in the race, so good for him. And then, uh, of course, the pink elephant in the room, and the media is going to be talking about it all week, so we might as well get it out of the way now, right? Kyle Busch has officially won 200 races across the top three NASCAR series. If that's something that's cool to you, oh my God, I almost just got destroyed by my own doing. Don't mind me. Let me turn my, my mirror on so I can actually see what's going on behind me. Uh, but yeah, if Kyle Busch winning 200 to you is some horrible, awful thing or like the greatest thing ever, let me know. Down in the comments, I want to know because uh, my own personal opinion on it is uh, obviously it's a hell of an achievement. Is it the same as Richard Petty's? No, obviously not. They're very different, not really comparable. Different times, different eras. Uh, it's just hard to compare a set of wins like that. That's my honest personal opinion about it. Let me know what you think down below. Are you happy he did it? Sad he did it? Mad he did it? Are you mad that the media probably isn't going to shut up about it for a while? Because <laughs> I honestly could find myself in that category as well as we take a commanding lead out here uh, in front of Blaney back there. Holding up the pack, it looks like. But there you go. So we take an early lead here. We just got to hold on to it to the end of the stage. So an absolutely dominant first stage here is to come out of turn four to come collect the green and checkers for stage one. Pulled away on the field pretty good there by a couple of tenths. And get ourselves another stage win. That'll definitely pad our bonus points. And give us another playoff point as well. Kurt Busch rounding out his, uh, his first stage in second as well. Kyle Busch was up there somewhere. He was up there in third last I looked. He fell to seventh. So a bad stage for Mr. Kyle Busch. And it looks like we got a pit here. So that's what we're going to do. All right. We come out once again from the pit stops in first. Took four tires. Uh, one can of fuel. So we should be... Good to go to the end of this stage at least, and then we might pit again, but I'm not too worried about that. And uh, we're off and underway across the line for stage two. So, talk a little bit more about the race. So, we talked about Kyle Busch. Got the pink elephant out of the way. Let's talk about my favorite driver, Brad. Was looking good there for a little bit, man. I tell you what, he's having a strong opening to this season, other than Phoenix, which... I tell you what, people, I don't know if you noticed this or not. Let's go, let's fast back to Phoenix real quick. Real, real quick. Oh my god, as I have stroke mid sentence. Let's flash back to Phoenix real quick. You know how he has the black and yellow Alliance truck parts car? I have a personal conspiracy theory that the car is somehow cursed because if you go back far enough, the, uh, the, uh, whenever he's sponsored by Alliance truck parts, something, he has some kind of horrible race. Or, or at least under par race. He's he's never won in that car. I mean, flashback to the Roval. That was pretty much his 2018 season summed up. Uh, you know what happened there. And then at Phoenix, he blew a tire, whatever, hit the wall. Or hit a wall and then blew the tire. I don't know really, really know which one happened first. Uh, as I'm losing a ton of FPS in game for whatever reason. But 
yeah, that, that car is just screwed. That, that Alliant Truck Parts car is screwed. So I just had to get that off my chest. So other than that, he's been having a pretty good opening season. He finished 12th at Daytona, which was less than desirable, but he finished at least. Considered, and all things considered, how many wrecks he was involved in during that, he uh, probably should have finished a lot worse than that, but he didn't. He uh, actually finished quite good, considering that his car was dead. Um, Matt DiBenedetto up in third right now, by the way. I just want to go ahead and put that out there. Kevin Harvick is in second. We pulled away. We've just absolutely minced the field. Um, so it is what it is. Maybe we should cut back a little bit on the setup. I don't know. Let me know what you think about that, too. Because, uh, some of these setups are a little bit OP, it would seem. But, uh, the AI are kind of OP, it would seem, at some tracks. So we'll see how it goes. We're, uh, I don't know that we wouldn't have been whooping their butts anyway, though. So, maybe it just kind of evens out. Four to go on the stage. Yeah, Kozlowski, my boy, my favorite driver, as most of you know. So it matters to me that I update his season a little bit here. Had a good run. I think he finished third after it was all said and done. Led a bunch of laps. If that last caution for Bubba hadn't come out, um, probably could have won that. Or, or, well, maybe I wouldn't say won because Kyle Busch was coming pretty quick uh, through that field. I mean, who's to say he wouldn't have got there by the time it wound down anyway? But let's just say I was getting a little uh, a little tingly seeing Brad out front thinking maybe he had a shot to win another race already this season. But alas, it didn't work out. Caution came out for Bubba. And that Bubba car, by the way, if you look closely at some pictures, I retweeted it on my Twitter, at Ed Soundhead, by the way, shameless plug, that uh, I, I'm actually on that car. They put a bunch of people's names on the car. Uh, if you pre-ordered the diecast from Plan B Sales, I did just that. And therefore, you will see Ed Soundhead on the car. If you uh, look on the, uh, on the left side of the car, uh, just before the rear wheel, you will see my name down towards the sort of bottom of the list. So uh, that, that was pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I look forward to seeing that diecast as well. Two laps to go on the stage. Trying to think of what else happened during the race. Stenhouse got turned around at one point. And, uh, you know, it's just Stenhouse doing Stenhouse things. Trick does some damage. That kind of took him out of any contention he had in the first place. And it was all in all, it was just kind of a race. You know, I don't really have any... Uh, horrible things to say about it it wasn't terrible the restarts were amazing because they would pack up for a little while and then as the run go on obviously they spread out pretty good but yeah i thought it was all right i thought it was a pretty decent race as uh, we're almost out of gas here apparently uh which means we'll have to pit again but uh, i'm not really worried about all that one to go here in the stage yeah it was just it was just a decent race i thought i thought you know it was, it was a nascar race <laughs> They're not all going to be, uh, you know, instant classics uh, as much as I'd love them to be. Uh, not every race you watch is going to be the best race you've ever seen. But it was a good race nonetheless. I thought it was a decent race. So coming to the final set of corners here for stage two, and it's just been a complete butt whooping of massive proportions. Not much else you can say about that. Not much racing action, although if we pit, I don't know if the AI have to pit as well, but it'll be interesting to see if we have to come through some cars here for stage three. But we get a couple of stage wins, so that pads us anyway. Get another playoff point, another 10 points. So there you go. So everybody is pitting. I think I'm just going to go ahead and get just enough, uh, enough fuel to make it to the end, so I am taking two cans, four tires, not making any repairs, so we're probably going to come out in front anyway. I don't know. So, uh... Yeah, let's get the rest of this race underway. Oh, wow, we actually did lose quite a few spots here. We come back in uh, 15. So I guess we just got some competition to try and drive through here now. I'm not sure why we lost so many spots. I don't know uh, what happened there. But uh, fair enough. Maybe those were the people that took uh, didn't like m take less cans of fuel on the last run and had a little bit left over. But uh, fair enough. It gave us a little bit of competition to racing through. Maybe we can actually have some kind of side-by-side -side racing during this race. That'd be nice to just flying out 15 yard Careful miles in front of the actual field. 15 yards wouldn't be that very much far ahead, would it? Man, I just can't talk today. I'm having like a stroke. I tell you what, I've been kind of sick this weekend uh, and it's now Monday, obviously, when you're watching this, so chances are I'm probably laying in my bed just dead to the world. Um, but you know, it is, I just, I just been sick. I woke up the other night with a sore throat and uh, just, uh, I woke up the other day with a sore See, I can't talk. I'm just out of it. I am just completely and utterly out of it. So I apologize for that. Um, it's only just now starting to hit me. It didn't go too bad for the first part of recording. Excuse me, Hamlin. 
coming down low. All right, let's draft with some people here. We're not getting through this pack too fast. So we're up to 12th from 15th, so we're getting a few spots, but not as many as I would really honestly like to. I'm rolling with a big slide there. Look like the Benedetto might have done the same thing. We got a nice little pack cars right there. Let's get a draft from Larson here. Come on, boys. We had a race to get back up here and win. Chase Elliott up there, man. I think Hendrick is on the out and out. You know what I'm saying? I think we talked about that a couple of videos back, if not the very last one we did. Oh, Kurt. Whoa, Kurt. My bad, sir. Might have a clean race, so that'd be nice. Look at all this pack racing taking place right here. Is this the 2019 package? Is this 2019? Is this 2019 update? They didn't change the physics, though. Look at that down low. Too slow. All right, we got him. Got Larson anyway. We're coming to about, what, seven to go now? Six to go. Can't do any math. Come on. Bush. Come on, Kurt Bush. Giving him shots everywhere. I'm trying to get him up there to that lead. Got Clint Boyer who fell out of the race with an engine problem. You don't, you don't see that too often anymore. But, um, yeah, it looks like he's had some pretty funny uh, choice words for Twitter about it. How he, uh, the package, you know, takes so much horsepower out of the car, so he didn't even know if he dropped the cylinder or not. But uh, he did, and he tweeted a picture of him with his feet up heading out of the track, so that was pretty funny anyway. But just uh, poor Clint Boyer. Don't worry, Clint. We'll get to some short tracks next week. Maybe you can get yourself another win. Martinsville style like you did last year. That'd be pretty cool. Like Clint Boyer. I've always enjoyed Clint Boyer's character as uh, Kermit Kurt Bush got shuffled back there. All right, we got Boyer in our sights. We got to try and get him for that lead. Can we do it right here? Sending it in low and deep, and what a slide job. Oh, baby. And that's how you take the lead right there. With just four laps to go now. That should probably write that one in the books. We'll get another win. So we've won every other race. And I, I'm counting my chickens before they hatch or whatever you want. Whatever that saying is. Uh, and that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is why you don't do that. I literally am. I, I was just saying it. Now, it'll be interested to see if we uh, throw this race away in overtime or if we can survive somebody's smoking back there i see somebody with the smokestack oh they're holding up a bunch of cars too i want to know who it is tough break for somebody late in the race but we are gonna pretty much sail it home free here i think i don't think they got any kind of challenge for us we've already cleared handling by quite a decent margin he's gonna get a little run on us again here but it will not be enough as we're going to come through these corners right here. Come around and get the white flag. One to go. Sail it off in the third turn. And they just, they got nothing for me. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. White flag in the air. One more time around. All right, let's go. And NASCAR flag. overtime. I always thought they should call overtime overdrive in NASCAR. I think that has a better sound to it. It makes it more, you know, it's more, it fits the theme a lot better. It should be overdrive. I like overdrive better. I'm going to make that a thing. Overdrive. All I can think about is the Mean Girls meme right there. Stop trying to make overdrive a thing. It's not going to be a thing. Or it's not going to happen. Or whatever the beam. See, I'm sick. Leave me alone. <laughs> All right. That should do it. As I smack the wall, a good time coming out of the corner. Just to make things a little bit interesting, I guess. Won't matter. We're going to win the race. And that'll do it. Almost choked it away there at the end. That would have been pretty funny, but... Yep. Not our fastest speed rating ever, but a win is a win. And we are going to get to do a burnout now. So we've now won uh, every other race, it would seem. We won Daytona, then finished, what, ninth at Atlanta? Uh, then we won, uh, what, whatever track came after that. Was it Vegas? Uh, then we finished, like, 20th last week at Phoenix. And now we've won Auto Club, so... Wherever we're going to finish uh, race next week is Martinsville, so I don't know. We're usually pretty good at Martinsville. Maybe we'll have a bad time. I don't know. 
Burn this thing out into second gear here, doing a 100 mile an hour burnout according to the game. Let's do the third gear. Let's see, we can do 150 mile an hour burnout. Let's go. Can I do a 200 mile an hour burnout? There it is. 200 miles an hour, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, that should do it there. We have gotten ourselves a win here at Auto Club Speedway, which was pretty much to be expected, but a win is always nice, isn't it? So. Again, let me know if I should switch up the paint scheme a little bit for next week. I think we've uh, won a couple races in this one already. It might be time to switch things up. So let me know what you think about that. So I'm looking to try and see if I can see why the caution came out. Uh, looks like it's already out. At, or maybe not, it's out. maybe it's not out at this point. But yeah, with the camera, I, I already went through like the actual race replays um, and couldn't see any reason why the caution would have come out. And it doesn't appear to be giving me anything here either. Doesn't look like there's any cars blowing up in the back or anything like that. So your guess is as good as mine on that one. Well, there you have it. We get a win. Chase Elliott second. Alex Bowman third. So a good day for the uh, Hendrick cars. Zoski was 13th there. Eric Jones 22nd. Blaney 21st. And uh, maybe Ryan Truex was the one that brought out that uh, caution. He must have been the one we saw smoking because he went a lot of laps down. I don't know. I guess if he was smoking that late. He was still on the track, so maybe it wasn't him. Maybe it was Chris Busher. Might have been Chris Busher. That would make sense. Kyle Larson, fourth. Uh, Jimmy Johnson, 18th. So uh, some tough days at the races for some of these guys. William Byron, 25th. Um, but yeah, that pretty much uh, tells the story. Hopefully your driver did all right. Um, mine finished 13th, so yikes. Yikes, indeed. All right, so here's our points standing. Uh, we've opened up a massive lead on them at this point. We are 255 points uh, in the lead with uh, 212 being the secondary. There's Joey Logano back there with five playoff points. Uh, so, yeah, taking a pretty commanding lead now at this point. Um, so, yeah, got that going for us, which is nice. And then, of course, we have the trophy ceremonies victory lane ceremonies whatever you want to call them as we uh, collect another trophy this season celebrate atop the car collect a really cool trophy in the process so there you go that'll do it for auto club speedway let's head back to the shop and just like that we're back here at the shop got another win in the books and heading to martinsville another track where we very well could get another win so, uh, taking a pretty commanding lead, pretty dominating uh, standing here uh, as we open up this season. Let's see, season standings, we can see more uh, more accurately here. Uh, point standings, we got playoff standings as well. Um, so, there's your detailed stats if you wanted them. There you go. All right, I think that'll pretty much do it, everybody. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Like I said, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about Kyle Busch. Let me know what you think about this paint scheme needing to be changed. Let me know what you thought about Auto Club's race, uh, IRL or in-game. Let me know what you thought. Love to hear it. So that'll do it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!